Right, hello everybody. Um, welcome to week number seven, my Rebel game versus Doc Mark's Dwarves Rebel Brutalia. Um, this is a replay because um, when I played at the time, um, I was unsure about getting the YouTubes back, so I was playing music every game. And uh, so obviously the, the VOD's no good because it's got a copyright. Would help, there would be loads of copyright and music on it. Um, I had a big TV advantage versus Doc Mark. He went with... Uh, Boomer and Flint Churn Blade. Those just he's just Flint here, and uh, he's got quite. He has put a he has put a strength up lodge on the LOS, but then he's got loads of good players. So you know it's this is the problem, isn't it for for dwarves? You know in this situation, do you just save this guy for this team? You know he doesn't really want to get anyone killed, does he? But he's got both his runners, stat freaks, loads of stats on his team. Um, you know, three plus strengths. Imagine having three plus strength, that's pretty good. And he's also got two edge and a movement, palms, mighty blows. You know, it's a pretty good team. But obviously this is, you know, it's not a good matchup against Chaos because Chaos have core power. <laughs> that's it, basically. <laughs> so if my dice are... Um... Yeah, exactly, yeah, Johnny Five, yeah. If I had ignored... The notification of fill in this form it's the only way you get your channel back if i had ignored that i would have been all right so yeah, you know if if the dice are, are kind of average for me i should win because i should batter him but then he can batter me as well right at the end of the day pom and armor eight isn't that much worse than pom and armor seven um so if he plays well and rolls well he's got a, he's got a shot however um, if the claw pop fight is going to be tough. Good old flat flat. So only only one removal, and flat flat is in in the danger zone from a chainsaw foul here, isn't he? I left him. <laughs> I left him pretty unprotected there. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. There's no need to run forward yet. He doesn't have a wizard. So... And obviously he's going to blitz this guy and then foul flat fight, isn't he? He needed to get the assist though, despite having a strength for a troll slayer. <laughs> And he answers right back with the removal, and this is the thing, isn't he? You know, armor seven, uh, armor eight with mighty blow is. He's pretty rowdy too. This is a decently large foul on flat fart. Hey, instant send off. <laughs> Double one, didn't even break AV. So I was pretty damn lucky there, wasn't I? That was I was very careless with flat fire. <laughs> and probably should have paid the price. <laughs> I can just get four assists in here and then blitz with flat fart. Yep. And now flat fart is protected when he piles on. I don't know why I did that. That was pretty pretty rash. He doesn't get the pile on. <laughs> Greedy, I really wanted to I really wanted to hurt him because now he's on the wrong side, right? Now he can thre threaten the ball a bit with his shitty slayer. <laughs> I was like, oh dear, so I had to run over the other side so that the slayer couldn't reach. <laughs> Unbelievable. He, he stands up Boomer just to get punched by Claw. 
fair enough, it's not his player, is it? He's just trying to keep his keep his good players alive, isn't he? Not a GF. Classic dodge. Thick skull keeps him on the pitch. Should block with him, shouldn't I? To get more chances of hits. Then just go back the other side. Other side, middle. Getting an assist from a strength 4 guy, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> hey, Kaz Boomer. That's good. And this pawn gets hit by a claw pawn, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Ah, so that assist there that looked stupid, it actually meant getting three dice on him, so that was... It wasn't so stupid to get that assist in. The power on his pie. Instant pile on. Don't listen to people who tell you to think about piling on. <laughs> or only pile on on injuries or anything. Always pile on instantly. So again, he's kind of unprotected here, isn't he? This is uh, pretty easy to get a three assist foul on him. Did have to stand up this guy though, which is uh, dangerous. And this is the problem with dwarves, isn't it? They get stuck on the they get stuck on the claw and they can't get away from it. So that's why they really get punished. <laughs> You've just got to do a pill. Uphill punches and stuff. Oh, 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 another Kaz. Glorious. Didn't even need claw, eh? Now I get to hit the other pommer. Which is really my main concern at the end of the day, you know, it's just. Every game this season, I mean, I was 6-0 and at this point. So, you know, my main concern is just player survival. <laughs> Every game. And the team is so good anyway, you know. The previous season in Division 2, I was too concerned about my team, I think. Um, this season, I've been a bit more careless with my team. Um, and a bit more like trying to win. Because at the end of the day, I left myself too much to do in the first, in last season. This season I've been trying to win a bit more, but also, yeah, you've got to try and protect your players, haven't you, it's Rebel. <laughs> There's no point winning a game and having all your best players killed. So this has gone pretty well now, isn't it, with these three cars. Um, removed, removed the Pommer. Now he's just waddling away. <laughs> After four turns. Uh, he's not waddling away, he does, he does a, he stands this guy up. That was crazy. I can't believe he stood this guy up. What a manoeuvre. I can't believe he stood him up. Even watching it back, I can't believe he stood him up. <laughs> he just didn't want to get three dice claw bombed. <laughs> he deserved death for sure. Maybe what I should have done was filled in that square and then chained him onto this guy and then I could have blitzed his uh, super runner, couldn't I? That would have been the best play, I think. Uh, there is. Uh, it's free to join and the next season will be starting quite soon, RBS. Um, it is quite a decent league. Uh, it's, on, it's on Reddit. I'm sure someone will put the link in, in the chat for you. No, oh, I couldn't chain him because he had to stand firm. That's why I didn't try to do a chain play. <laughs> Looking back, I thought, why didn't I try to chain him? That's why he's got to stand firm. So I was right not to try the chain there. I am going to dirty play a foul in that. 
with loads of assists. And a run up. Oh, I didn't foul him! What a wuss! What an absolute wuss! Why did I not foul? I've got two spare goats, what an idiot! Oh man! What the hell? Well, I'm pretty disgusted in myself there. Do apologise. <laughs> Pussy out. Like a boss. <laughs> Hello, lean guy. Another another veteran of Jim Jim Con. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to hunt the is is uh his best players down a bit now, aren't I? But obviously still gonna call upon him because he's got mighty blow. Reroll it. Maybe he should have made it three dice. Especially if I'm not gonna foul this guy. Probably should have made it three dice, right? Uh, I'm still moving to protect to attack that guy, but it looks like I could have made it three dice. These players aren't super important, so yeah, I probably should have made that three dice. Um, right, seeing as no one seems to have given you the link, I'll, I'll do it here. Yeah. Right, there you go, there's the, there's the link to Rebel and... There's rebel.net as well, and there's a, it's all, you know, there's a Discord. I don't know what the link for the Discord is, but um, it's all pretty good. It's a pretty good, like, you know, <laughs> I think it's about as good as tiered leagues like this are. Um, yeah, Lean Gary, it's because, because uh, when this was live, I played music. <laughs> Right, do we have a 3D anywhere? I'm still trying to close down, <laughs> close down the runner for a hit on him. I really want, I really want the hit on the runner. <laughs> and obviously try to hurt a mighty blow character. I can't believe I pussied out of the dirty player foul. That's very sad. <laughs> Genuinely disappointed that I didn't foul him now, but never mind. Get some rushing yards, very important. <laughs> Maybe I should have tried to hand off to somebody. Um, had two rerolls. Could have scored on this guy, maybe. Reads it, trying to protect his best player. <laughs> and I moved him too far over. He didn't need to be this far over, did he? He's moving six, right? So he could have been here. Um, and he could have still reached right to the edge there. And then could have reached over here as well. Got a chance of hitting him, don't I? Can Fisher a power just go for the frenzy on him, so... I think it was smarter to go for the frenzy hit on, on the worst runner. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not a huge fan of tiered leagues, to be honest. I just don't really like the eternal tiered leagues that much. But, of the ones that exist, I feel like Rebel suits me the best. And it is like the biggest by a mile. And it is like, you know, they've got loads of admins and everything. And they cast all the, they have people casting the playoffs and everything. And casting games and recaps and stuff. So it's it's all pretty cool. It is pretty cool. So yeah, I probably should have, I probably should have got a touchdown on somebody else, like a warrior or something there. That was a perfect time to get a touchdown on a warrior, wasn't it? Absolute dominant half. Made the three cars in the first four turns, so yeah, I really should have uh, 
really should have got a touchdown on the Warrior there. Probably. But at the end of the day, it's not that bad scoring on, on this guy because he... Oh, it got him to 51, so that's probably why I scored on him <laughs> after all that talk. I got him to 51, so... It was probably okay to score on him. And uh, this is not at my home stadium, so uh, I had to take flat far off so we didn't get hit by a rock. And he's down all these players. Three, six, nine players left. <laughs> yeah, there is. There is no chance of the one. Oh, maybe there is. Movement seven? Nah, I think with, with nine players I don't think there's any chance. <laughs> I know it's just a joke, but you never know. I mean, he did have two Frenzy as well. So, and a grab. So, honestly, he might have been able to have done the one turn, but obviously he's just going to go for damage. Because with a double LOS, it's not it's not terrible odds of him hurting things, especially with Mighty Blow and Pine. Could have made that a 3D, didn't matter. So, <laughs> yeah, June 2019. I have some funny, funnily named players in uh, in this team, <laughs> like Spaff Biscuit. <laughs> but yeah, Jim 2019 uh, whipped out on the foul. That was pretty sad. So I thought I'd put the give a guard here to, uh, you know, put him off blocking with his Troll Slayer and especially with him only having nine players I thought get the strength forward and uh, make it uncomfortable for him this is pretty uncomfortable for him I think <laughs> P.I. Oh dear. <laughs> At least he gets a touch back. But yeah, four players down. He's <laughs> only got five players standing. <laughs> it's not great for him, is it? And all he can do is run away. <laughs> so yeah, he gets... Oh, he re-rolled that. Oh, because it was a wrestler. Okay. And then got a pow. What a dirty Dino. He got a remover. Disgusting. But getting to bases down plays is pretty strong, isn't it? As a... Uh... For, for claw, for claw pom players, for strength four claw pom players, basing basing down guys is pretty strong. Even standing up players is pretty strong. <laughs> so yeah, just gonna all man's him, despite the removal and the stun, because he's only got he has the stun guys himself, hasn't he? And go for his pommer. To protect the team. And Kevin. Glorious. <laughs> yeah, Lords doesn't really matter so much. J5. They just basically uh they just basically approve what the commons do. You know like occasionally they'll uh Occasionally they'll do something, but they're, they're not as important. By far. Oh, the dirty 1D, pal. 
Look a dog. And the uphill not working out. Giving us more claw hits. And this is this is just the thing, isn't it? This is like the snowball effect is just horrible against against Chaos because now he's down players. So it's get it's get it's harder and harder for him to avoid the claw hits, isn't it? I think he's going to blitz him, right? He's got touch. Makes sense. Boo. Only a push pathetic. <laughs> So he's got a bit of a like he's got the he's got the option for like the Ekron potato, hasn't he? At all times. So I should have been more more wary of him, I think, than I was. Has to reroll that because it's a friendly tra frenzy trap. Missed the interception, and he lobs it to Ekron, so yeah. My first player should be for, to move him straight back, I think. Strength 4 tackle. Oh, I can probably just hit him this turn, actually, can't I? <laughs> At least I moved him back. Probably should have moved him back. For oh, he's based. Alright, well, there you go. It shows what an idiot I am. <laughs> That was a bit disappointing not getting the knockdown there because he could have blocked him and then <laughs> and then I could have got through but then I only got the push so now I still can't blitz Ekron with him either. So this is this is some bad dice this turn. Uh, like obviously not horrific or anything but a little bit annoying. Nice, uh, nice pow there. And then a pow there would have meant a 4 plus dodge and it hit the ball, wouldn't it? I just went for the 5 plus dodge in. Wow, what a madman, why did I do that? <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I should have just blitzed this guy, shouldn't I? I should have just blitzed him and then gone back. Three, four, five, six. That was the player. That was that was crazy doing that. Whew, what a horrible idea. I rolled a four as well. I think it would have been all right going for it on a four, but I think a five was a bit crazy. <laughs> so now he's off in his little potato. People asked at the time why he followed there, but you know, it's to get the extra square, isn't it? Like making the two plus dodge there is just the same as doing a GFI, except he gets to attempt an extra one. So, it's a good bit of outrunning from the, uh, from the dwarf there. But, flat farts tackle doing some things there. Who were misses. And flat fart is in range to hit Ekrand. This is the big moment everyone's been waiting for flat fart versus Ekrand. Can he kill him? Oh wow, well, Flatfart's got more SPPs than him. In, in way less games. Glorious. Get the POW and get the KO and I didn't pile on it. Because I thought, you know, with him off the pitch, I've just definitely won. And I felt bad for the rest of the league that I didn't pile on, honestly. I felt like... <laughs> you know. And then the next Kaz dies. <laughs> it's an injury, but it was only a mic. it was only a badly hurt anyway. So, I mean, I think I, it was definitely the right play, not to pile on right. But it was a hard non-pile. <laughs> the opportunity to kill Ekron. And there's the show sure hands dude to recover. There's 
basically no chance to not win now, is there? I guess maybe be a bit wary of the wrestle guy. But he quad scold. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy quad skulls there. Don't see that every day, do you? <laughs> could have done safe moves first. I could have just started with a claw palm hit. <laughs> He's still not moving the ball. And that's pretty... Hey! Glorious, Kaz. And he, his apple saves him, so that's good news for Doc Mark. He would not have liked to have lost that guy. Huge amount of cards. But this is the thing, and it draws. They just don't have the movement. They don't have the agility. They don't have the strength. So once it starts going bad for them, they just can't stop giving up the claw hits. Probably going to try and pass it to this. Warrior. Oh, and then I quad skull. <laughs> That's, I think that's why I hadn't moved the ball, right? Because I wanted to, I wanted to pass it to him. So there you go. We we both quad skulled in successive turns. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> he fails the dauntless skull, fails the dauntless skulls and casts himself. <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> There's a surf chance here, isn't there? But I'm just going to hit him with claw anyway. It would have been an easy, relatively easy surf, but just I just wanted, I just wanted to claw pop. Him. <laughs> and again, I probably shouldn't have piled on there because him off the field is good. He's got mighty blow. I just needed him off the field. Give the pass there, glorious. He can base. <laughs> There's not a lot of point. And if it had been stood up there, really, that wouldn't have been a one day, would it? It'd been an uphill. So yeah, I really shouldn't have passed on. That. Especially <laughs> as it was flat fab, so he's already a legend. So I wasn't getting any star player points from it. Three D on this guy though. And then I guess foul the uh foul the troll slayer. <laughs> oh, didn't foul the troll slayer. Gotta foul someone, right? Chaos Warriors have a little chuckle. Yeah, he dodges out for a one day. Genius. Skulls into a removal. Do I do the three dice? He can't get a skill from it, so there's no real point doing it with him. He could he could blitz. There's no point doing it with Flat Fat though, because I can't get well, that was really dumb. I was really dumb doing it flat farm because I can't get I can't get any skills on him. If I was gonna take it, I should have done with the claw mighty guy. I guess I just had the bloodlust at this point. <laughs> and of course I was winning 1-0, right? So I didn't have to. I didn't have to score the second, but yeah, really it should have been the claw mighty guy doing the blitz thing. So there you go, a glorious 2-0 victory uh, versus Doc Mark's Rebel Brutalia who beat Dave in the, in the previous season's playoffs. Um, 
I'm going to be two seasons as well. Mr. Throw got MVP, which is alright. 29 AV breaks. But you know, I mean, he got 43 blocks with Chaos. That's a lot. That is a lot with uh, 2k Chaos. If you get that many blocks, you're going to hurt things, aren't you? So, uh, that's that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.